Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm diving into a question that I get all the time. Should you use Notion, ClickUp, or Coda? These three tools look kind of similar, but they're actually built for very different kinds of users. I've used all three in real projects, and in this video I'll help you figure out which one fits your workflow best. First, let's talk about pricing, because this can really be a deal breaker, especially if you're managing a team or working on a budget. Now, as of now, Notion has a free plan that's great for individuals. Then there's the Plus plan at $12 per seat per month, a business plan at 24, and if you're a large organization, there's also an enterprise option with custom pricing. ClickUp also has a free forever plan, which includes unlimited tasks and members, perfect if you're just getting started. Their unlimited plan starts at $10 per user per month, which is slightly cheaper than Notion, then you have the business plan at $19, which unlocks more advanced features like workload management and time tracking. If you're running a large team, you'll want to check out their enterprise plan too, which offers things like advanced permissions and white labeling. Now, Coda's pricing is a little different. Coda charges per doc maker instead of per user. Their pro plan is $12 per doc maker per month, and the team plan jumps to $36. The enterprise tier is custom priced. So if you have a team of editors and only a few doc makers, this could still be cost effective, but the total cost grows quickly if more people need full access. Now let's dive into the tools, starting with Notion. Notion is probably the most popular all-in-one workspace for notes, docs, project management, and personal productivity. It's a blank canvas that gives you total freedom to design your workspace exactly how you want. And that's both a benefit and a bit of a challenge challenge. The good side is that you can create beautiful dashboards, databases, habit trackers, reading lists, project boards, and even wikis. Now, if you're someone who enjoys customizing things and building your own system, this is a great choice. One of the best things about Notion is how smooth it is across devices. The mobile app is actually really good. You can customize it to show your most used pages like your to-dos, inbox, or a habit tracker. Everything updates in real time, and with linked database views, you can interact with data however you like. Calendar view, board view, timeline view, you name it. Customization is really what makes Notion stand out. Toggle blocks, synced headers, filter views, there's really a lot that you can build. But here's something to consider. Notion doesn't support true automation for things like repeating tasks. If you want something to repeat every week or every month, you'll need to set it up manually or use a third-party tool. And when it comes to integrations, they're fairly limited. Most are just visual previews or links. You can't really pull in or send data the way you can in tools like ClickUp or Coda. So who is Notion best suited for? If you're a solo worker, a freelancer, or a small team looking for a clean, flexible space that lets you organize everything visually, it is a strong option. It works really well for documentation, content calendars, and creative workflows. If you don't need advanced automations or deep integrations, you'll probably be very happy with it. Now let's talk about ClickUp. ClickUp is built for people who want everything in one place. Out of all three tools, ClickUp offers the most features. You get task management, docs, time tracking, team dashboards, goals, whiteboards, and more. Even the free version is packed with tools that are great for small teams. What I really like about ClickUp though is the home view. It's like your daily command center. You can see your schedule, tasks, meetings, time blocks, all in one place. You can even join Zoom calls or view Google Calendar events directly from the dashboard. It makes staying organized feel effortless. ClickUp also does a great job with repeating tasks. You can set them to repeat every day, every week, or every month and choose if they should reset after you complete them or on a fixed schedule. Notion doesn't have this built in and Coder requires a more technical setup to make it happen. Another thing ClickUp offers is task linking. You can connect a doc to a task, create dependencies, and keep everything tied together. It's especially useful when multiple team members are working on a complex project and you want everything visible all in one place. The integrations in ClickUp are also solid. You can connect it to Google Calendar, Zoom, Slack, and even create tasks from inside emails. While it doesn't go quite as deep as Coda in terms of automation or logic. It covers most of what everyday teams need. One downside to keep in mind is that ClickUp can feel a bit complicated at first. There's a lot going on inside the interface and new users might need some time to get used to how things work. For teams that are not used to digital tools, you might need to set aside some time for walkthroughs or for training. So who is ClickUp best for? Well, if you're managing multiple people, handling big projects, or you want one tool that can do a little bit of everything, ClickUp is a strong pick. It's especially good for businesses that need structure task automation, and team collaboration in one place. Now let's look at Coda. Coda is like a mix between a doc, a spreadsheet, and an app builder. 
At first, it looks like a simple document tool, but once you start exploring, you will see that it can do a lot more. You can build dashboards, databases, forms, to-do lists, and even full workflows with buttons and logic behind them. The thing that makes Coda special is its packs. These are powerful integrations with apps like Gmail, Google Calendar, Slack, Salesforce, Spotify, and many more. And they're not just previews. You can actually interact with the data. For example, you can send an email directly from a Coda doc or create a calendar event without leaving the page. Coda also lets you add buttons that trigger actions. You can use them to duplicate rows, create new tasks, or set up your own type of recurring task flow. Unlike Notion, which doesn't support this at all, or ClickUp, which only does it through tasks, Coda gives you the tools to build your own workflows in a more flexible way. Another really cool thing is how easy it is to set up your workspace visually. You can add columns, organize your layout, and hide or show certain parts depending on what you need. You can even switch between dark mode and light mode within your dock. But also here, there are a few downsides. Coda doesn't have a native desktop app, so it runs entirely in your browser or mobile browser. Now you can save it as a shortcut, but that's not quite the same as a full app experience. Also, the pricing adds up fast. It starts at $12 per doc maker and jumps to 36 if you want the team plan. That can get expensive quickly if several people need to make changes. So who should use Coda? Well, it's a great tool for advanced users, product teams, or people who love building custom tools. If you want to create interactive dashboards, automate tasks, and connect multiple tools into one workspace, Coda gives you the freedom to do all of that. All right, let's bring it all together. If you're looking for a simple, flexible tool to organize your ideas and tasks visually, Notion is a great choice. It's ideal for individuals and small teams that care about design, structure, and creative freedom. If you need a powerful task manager that can handle teams, timelines, automation, and scheduling, well then ClickUp has the most built-in features and is a great all-around tool. It may take a bit of time to get used to, but it's well worth it for teams that want structure and flexibility. And if you're the kind of person who loves building smarter workflows and connecting apps, Coda is the most powerful and customizable of the three. It's perfect for users who want more than just notes and tasks. It's for people who want to create their own tools. All right, thanks so much for watching. Now let me know in the comments which of these tools you use or which one you're thinking of switching to. And if this video helped, give it a like and subscribe for more deep dives just like this. We'll see you in the next video.